G'day everyone, in today's lesson I'm going to show you how you can use Adobe Premiere Pro uh, to knock out, uh, take out the green screen effect that you've uh, just video recorded on top of. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is import our footage. Now I'm just going to grab all these video clips here and import them to my project. I've already set my project up and all the clip that I'm looking for I've already decided was uh, I think it's this one here if I double double click it open in the preview panel uh, I'm just going to take the sound down for now because it's not necessary um, let's just set an in point there with the I and the letter I and an out point there with O drag and drop it into your timeline and that'll create our sequence uh, Okay, now what I'm going to do is, I've got two extra video layers here. I'm going to hold, click and drag this video layer to the video third video channel. Um, the reason being, I'm going to import um, two other assets. This one here, free green screen background, and this one of them, just a JPEG of the moon that I got royalty free off the internet. So I'll import those two files, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag the moon in, I'm going to drop it there, and these are going to act as our backgrounds, and this one here, I'm just going to set an in point and an out point, this is all basically the same, so I'll press I, take it about there, press O, drag and drop it in on this timeline, and this one has some audio, I don't want the audio, so if I click off, and I hold option, and click the bottom audio layer there, it'll just select it on its own, then I'll press delete, and that's gone. Uh, okay, and this green screen background, I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust them so that they go the length of the original movie clip. If I hide that, you can see that underneath um, the green screen background, and then you can see I've just got a photograph image of the moon there. All right. The next thing we're going to do is to take the green screen background out. Now to do that, we want to go into effects, which is just here, and just search ultra key and drag and drop the ultra key effect uh, on top of the clip and it's not going to do anything yet because you need to go into effect controls which is up here and then you'll see I've got the ultra key effect and all its options underneath in my effects control. If you can't see effects control just click this little uh, arrows there and then you should find it. Um, so the first thing we're going to do in our, in our ultra key menu is to get the eyedropper and choose kind of a mid-tone and just click the button to um, choose that color and then it's going to knock the background out for us straight away. Um, and now, a couple of things we can do to make this a little bit better. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here, maybe up to 100%. Um, actually, no, I'll just go back to fit for the minute. Um, now, what you can do is you can change the setting from default to relax, and that's going to kind of take out more of the green. You can see a little bit of a green halo type of thing on his arm there. So if I go to aggressive, all right, it's kind of made the key keen a bit clearer and taking out more of the green from the background. Now have a look. If I want to, I could hide this track here. And then they're on the moon, okay? So you could layer a couple of different um, backgrounds as you see fit for your project. Okay, so change that setting to aggressive. Uh, the next thing you can do is, and I'm going to zoom in on this one, maybe do about 100, well, I'll just go up to 100. I'm just going to go maybe with this part of the film clip here. Yeah, just where his arm is. And I'm going to... Just go up here. All right, let's have a look at this um, uh, matte cleanup. So the matte cleanup, uh, I'm only going to show you a few of the effects that you can do. You can play around with, with as many of these as you want, but these are the basics that you you can use. Um, choke, choke will kind of, if you up the choke, it will kind of start to make the, the, the green screen key smaller. Okay, you can see that, um, and you see his arm is getting smaller as I go down, as I go up, sorry, so I might just move it up a little bit, that's the choke. Now soften, it's probably, it just softens the edges, 
slightly, a little bit, so you could play around with that if you wanted to, to get it, to make it look a bit cleaner. Uh, all right, let's go back to fit, and let's just play it to have a bit of a look, how it's looking. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Um, right, the other thing you can do is um, you can adjust the scale of it. So if I'm just going to hide my ultra key effect so it's a bit cleaner. If I go into motion here, um, say I want these guys a bit smaller or a bit bigger, I can just up and down the scale here. All right, say I want them about this big. All right, but first of all, now I've run into a little problem. You can see that I've got some of the green screens uh, effects still showing here in the corners. Now to get rid of that, um, let's go back into our ultra key. Um, we can go into matte generation and I think if we play around with the shadow, let's just drop the shadow or increase it a little bit and see what happens. Look, if I just drop the shadow there, see the corner there, it's pretty much taking that bit right away. I can also adjust the pedestal, and that kind of does the same thing, but I think the shadow works a bit better. So play around with your footage to see what works best. Okay, now, I can't see any traces of the background for the green screen. Okay, how easy is that? Now, if you want to move it, the easiest way to move it is if you just uh, click on motion and highlight it, you'll see this uh, box, bounding box will come up. Just click and drag and move it to wherever you want. Okay, so I want these guys positioned here. Perfect. Let's have a look at it. Okay, that's a pretty nice uh, green screen key. Okay, thanks for watching. And um, go now and have a play around with your own footage and see what you can come up with.